Okay, we're at about 19 hours after pitching. Uh, granted, it's daylight savings, so it's probably more like 18 hours. Because yesterday we had to set our clocks ahead. Boo-hoo. I hate this time of year. I mean, I hate it and I love it because you get an extra amount of sunlight. But So, you got the five and a half gallon there, and you got the one gallon. And you can see at the bottom there are the five and a half gallon that the cake has settled. So if there's anything going to happen, it's it's building up its energy right now. Um, got some residual stuff clean to the glass there. So it's gearing up to do something, hopefully. And on the uh, one gallon, same thing. It's on the bottom there. Uh, earlier this morning, it was more than halfway up. Actually, it still is sort of there. But, um, well, that's all I got going on right now. I'm not expecting much right now since this was the experimental one. And this one, the uh, Rose Lair Pack was uh, past its best buy date. Um, Alex actually noticed that after we pitched it. Uh, so we are hoping it'll do something. Hopefully the bacteria still, are still alive in there and the bread's still alive. If not, we'll just, uh, he said he'd order another pack for me and repitch it. Um, if we don't see anything by Wednesday, because Wednesday will be over 72 hours, and over 72 hours you really don't want to go that long because then you're not really having any healthy yeast. So, there you go for the Flanders Red and the experimental batch for bugs and other miscellaneous yeast from dregs that we consumed on brew day. Again, that's, this is the uh, day one afterwards, 19 hours.